let's get a start demo first of anything LLM which can help you know, search your local uh, source for example PDF Word Excel and we are actually you can store a data they will work with your local uh, data source how we can do that see here I just you know uh, hosted in our local machine over here and it is just completely open source and it is hosting in my local and then what I need to do simply I go to that in a new work space I can just create a new work space. for example school database and then save it and then once you save it now see here these options like you can just talk with the you can just ask the questions right so for example let me ask okay, what is school name as of now they don't have an, a school name right so let's see what they actually expecting and what is they returning back now see once i ask the question so they don't have any the specific uh, answer over here right so that's they're saying right so once i have to you know give that some uh, context of, uh, about that school so definitely they will ask, they will give that answer so how we can do that simply once i just click that upload button and here i have just this document over here school data which is if you want to see over here see this is that my school document which have an uh, school data as a pdf uh, as a doc uh, docs file and this file actually i refer to over here this uh, local llm uh, anything llm and here i want i to do move to the workspace now over here and i if i just save it now it's save now let me close and now asking the same question again what is school name right now this time i'm expecting in this word document or whatever document i provide him so they can you know retrieve that and you know, conclude answer now see i'm getting that result right and it is saying the school name is awkward elementary school right and let me check it is giving the correct result or not now see whatever that is school name this is my school name and it is saying it is whatever the school name now let me ask you know one more things for example right where is that location or if you see this document right so let me ask that contact information about that school right so quickly just ask this question again so what is that contact or how i can contact right so how how i can contact that that school now see i am getting that response right and also they are providing that correct information because only that document mentioned these informations right for that contact like phone number email and all so let me quickly verify right so these are that informations so that is perfectly fine so this is a very powerful right so actually they are fetching the data from your local and actually just generating first llm and then they are trying to get the information so that is a very powerful so now further how we can uh, you now set up these things and how we can use as per our requirement for the deployment and all right that we will do so uh, let's go for that uh, you know implementation so before implementation i'm especially recommend uh, the, uh go to my channel dot net real world example and here you have to make sure check out this session because this is important here actually i am used the olama and how we can you know set up or how we can you know use our you know open ai in our locally so that actually i have done from here because that is uh, related to dependent on this anything llm so that why we have to recommend use this guy first or if there's a many other ai series over here you can check out so first of all what you need to do you have to just install this olama you have to go this side over here Olama.com and you have to install and this actually LLM uh, this LLM model will be actually installed in locally and if you go to this model and this model also will work for this locally completely which will provide your you know open AI and if you go to that LLM 3 see there is an instruction actually done simply you just copy and you have to just run I already explained uh, in this video so you can just check out this one so that's why i'm not going to deep drive on this that so that's fine uh, once you're you have done this gun next thing actually you have to just install your docker 
in your machine so you can just install the docker so i have already installed the docker desktop and this is that already running my container right so what i will do simple i will delete this guy because i will show you that from scratch and then next things actually this is a github link of that anything llm which is a completely open source so you have to check out this guy first and then it is also i'll show you it is a license if you talk about the license so it is completely open source and mit license which we can use without any issues right and then uh, if you go to that dockerize uh, you know, implementation so there is a many you know self-hosting uh, options over here so we will use this as a docker but yeah they also have that many many options over here so i have to go to this guy so once i go to this guy if you you will land in this page and here some instruction actually how we can do that so first of all what you need to do you have to just you know run this command so if you install that docker then you can just able to run this command so first you have to install the docker so let me open that command prompt right and quickly and here i just simply pass this guy right docker pull it will just generate it will just download the image uh, this you know anything LLM in a local so once you complete this image uh, download in your local right so wh what is the next step next step is you have to check that olama install or not right so let me check it for example let me zoom in for you olama right and then once you hit enter it will give that options right so that means it is there and second things also with the we have to check like olama uh list right so once you olama list right so once you see uh, once you check this olama list so it will give that whatever model actually llm model you have installed your uh in your local right so these are model actually we have to install like llama 3 8 deep 8 billion and llama also latest one and one more thing actually you have to check like okay whatever you know in local open ei it's working or not right so how we can check like simply o llama o llama and then just check it serve right and once you serve it is already running that's why it's saying okay it is learning listening on this port right so using this port actually we have to use in our anything llm and local local environment right so also we can make sure using that postman like you can just hit it this uh, url and get back to response if you get the back the response so definitely this is running right so there's a way so that's i'm not going to show but yeah you can check it so you if you make sure these are kind of all of things then what you need to do next step you have to go to that you know site right um, dockerize anything llm document so here what you need to do if you scroll down so this step we have covered right so once you cover this step so now we have to do another step for running our container so there is a two options we can run by you know linux max machine so we have to require you know this configuration right and if i use that you know windows one so we have to use this guy right and also it is saying run the powershell and terminal right so what i need to do simply just copy we uh, we don't need to do anything just simply copy open a uh, powershell uh, terminal as a as a run administrator so here my powershell terminal and simply just simply paste it over here and hit enter now it is just creating you know uh, you know container like this is my container id and also we can check it like how is running like so let me check docker and yes right so if you see so this is container actually running in this port right so this is my port so let me quickly run uh using that new browser and now see it is running click that workspace right and uh, before going to do that actually see it is already installed my uh, local machine actually it is a container right so that's why it is not asking some configuration but if you first time if you configure this so they will asking some configuration so what are those configurations so if you go to this, this uh, you know range so you will see there's a many many options so they will ask first like whatever db actually you want to configure so i will use this you know launch db which is completely locally free right 100 percent local free so you also choose this guy 
and also it is supporting the vector database right so you have to choose this you know vector database provider using that launch db so this is one first configuration you have to take in care now second things you have to take in care over here uh, this guy right llm preference right so llm preference we have to check it over here see i just already uh, selected local o olama um, you know model right but if you want to choose whatever things you want so you can choose it for example see open ai i can choose it open you know ai with azure i can choose it and also see lm studio which we have installed in our locally that also i can use it and if i choose that local ai also that is fine we can use it so many options over here but yeah we will use that olama so let me select this guy and once you select this guy see uh there is just some you know you know informations over here that you have to just consider see i just change my url see my local url is that like local host dot our port right but once i use when i use the docker container running right so once i use that our you know for example local host right so this is my url but once i using this local host url it is not loading our you know model uh, llm model right so that is one issue right so that's why we have a you know workaround we can just change it to that host to docker and dot internal so that you have to set it over here if it is running your locally that is fine but now this time you're uh, running inside the docker right so that's why you have to use this host name along with this port name so once you use, see you are able to see whatever model in your local install so you will get that model and also you can provide the token so this is very important you have to take in care of this guy so once it's done save it now go back to here and create a new workspace for example school data database right save it and here the options is the one options you can upload your document and also this is another options to upload the document right so two way you can upload so i will just upload document over here so this is my you know school document over here school data you can just upload it first time if you use so you can just upload it and then move it to workspace it will went to over here see here that our workspace right school database so whatever workspace you want you can send it and also you can use that online you know uh, online link as well you want if you want to have a data in our online uh, online storage so you can use it over here like this way without upload over here so you can use it and then once you complete simply close it that's it so now i'm able to get that response from that document so what is that what is the school name i just asking some again same question right now i'm not getting the result right and also see there's a problem i guess because if he upload successfully our document so that document also i will to see over here so that means some issue to upload the document let me go to again over here see there is a problem document not successfully uploaded so what how you can check it if you see this is my workspace here document should be available so let me quickly just select it over here move it to workspace and now it is here right so once you here save and embed it and close it right so now i i should good to go to ask again what is the what is the school name now i am getting the result with this right so with this you uh, know uh, school database right which we have given for the llm right and now i am getting that correct response as well like this is school name which we are asking and let me ask again for contact information about that that school now finally i'm getting that information about that contact right which is completely fine which we are expecting also so let me check one more thing so not only just contact info and uh, other things as a school name right so let me ask like okay what is that locations right so let me ask this guy so where is located at this school right so let me ask this question now i'm getting that result right and let me see what they are giving okay so they're giving okay this is the school name and it at one two three main 
at any town on this guy so let me check it this correct right this is super correct right that's all for this session thank you have a nice day and don't forget to like subscribe and share for more motivation